Vandaag zijn we in Tel Aviv en we zijn op bezoek bij een van de oprichters van de stichting Surfing for Peace. What does Surfing for Peace do? Um, basically the concept of uh, Surfing for Peace um, was born through a friendship and cooperation with me and a person named Dorian Paskowitz. He is a Jewish surfer from California. He brought the first surfboard to Israel in 1956. Then uh, when we met them, I decided to organize the first Israeli Arab surf contest. That was later on at the summer of July 2004. And then it went on to just being in contact, sending boards from time to time. The last time Dorian came to Israel, it was uh, last August, a year and a half ago. And he read an article about two surfers in Gaza with one surfboard. Mm -hmm. So he contacted me straight away and told me, Arthur, you have to organize a few surfboards, we're going to Gaza. So I contacted all the local shapers, producers of surfboards in Israel. And uh, I collected around 15, 14 surfboards. And me and him and his son, David, we went to Gaza to the border. We managed to get a contact with the person named Muhammad Alwan. We met him at the crossing. We gave him the boards. You only gave the boards, you couldn't go with him? No, I him. as an Israeli cannot go in. Dorian went into a secured lobby and he met the two original surfers there for about 30, 40 minutes and then he came back. Yeah. I'm trying to create a connection. And um, we already connected because we are surfers. And the basic idea was we call ourselves surfing for peace. But we know that, you know, we're not going to bring peace in a few years' time. The plan is to create some kind of a friendship, a dialogue on the underground level of people-to-people -people cooperation. Hopefully this will create a wider movement in I don't know how many years from now. Well, at the moment, especially after the war, that you see that Hamas leaders or Fatah or whatever kind of extremists on the other side, they're causing basically a situation of war and our government retaliates with sending the soldiers inside. Always at times of war you see that right wings are gaining more and more popularity. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that you could say yeah they're gaining a lot more popularity in the last few weeks because of the situation. Yeah. But I think that in the long run it's always the more moderate left wing that are leading the, the country. So I don't know where this is going to go, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to elect to someone else. Okay. <laughs> Not the right wings. <laughs> okay. So we are here at the, at the beach in Tel Aviv. It's a really uh, laid back atmosphere. But I wonder, how was it two weeks ago when uh, the, ga the Gaza Strip was on fire? It's very hard to say, but it was, um, it was the same. Nothing changed. It's hard for me to say that people were still chilling at the beach when there was war 60 kilometers away from here. But that's how reality is here. It's at the hardest times, the center doesn't really suffer. And I think that on the other hand, the world doesn't really see what we have here. If you look uh, back to the beach, you see that people are playing on the beach, relaxing, drinking a beer. Nothing really is different between times of war and times of peace. It was exactly the same two weeks ago. I really like to go and surf in Gaza. I'd like to surf in Lebanon. I know there's waves there. Yeah. And I want to know and meet these guys. You know, they're our neighbors. Yeah. I, think, I think it would be great. And also, as, this is another thing. As an event organizer, I used to organize skate, uh, surf contests. We always want to do a world championship here. And it's always a tough thing when we, are, we suggest the idea and people start talking about mm. what's, how's the political situation, it's not really secured, and then it's cancelled. Yeah, yeah. I would really like to see a world championship right here. And we had one in 1984, here on this okay. beach. Yeah. Who won? 25 years ago. That's Who won? The waves were too small so it was cancelled. <laughs> Nou, Ludo heeft dus met uh, Mohammed uh, gesproken nu net, okay. die in, uh, in Gaza woont. Hij is ook een uh, surfer, net als Arthur. En uh, nou, we kunnen Mohammed niet bezoeken. Arthur kan hem ook niet uh, bezoeken, overigens. Maar we willen hem wel een paar uh, vragen stellen. Dat doen we dus uh, via de telefoon. We encourage the youth people to, uh, to 
emphasis on this sport uh, instead of going to the violence and uh, when they know that there is nothing to do with but if we encourage them to train them about the surfing, uh, they will uh, do something useful for them and uh, they will like uh, the life and uh, uh, they would like to cooperate with other people, especially, uh, I mean, with the Israeli people because they, we are sharing in the same sea.